Hey guys, James here with another lesson today. Um, today we're going to be looking at uh, Sweet Home Alabama, the main solo. So um, if you're familiar with my channel, hopefully you've already seen uh, that I've done uh, a video on the first solo uh, in another video. And I did promise that I would get round to doing the uh, main solo. Uh, so sorry it's taken so long, but we're here now to do it for you. So um, before we get started, I would recommend going to my website and getting hold of the tab that I've made for this um, to kind of accompany the lesson. Uh, we're going to move fairly quickly through it, so if it is moving a bit too fast for you, then you know it's useful to have the tab um, for you to kind of consult and print out and, and have. So do check it out, it's all available for free on the website, so link below, check it out. Here we go. So main solo starts off with this uh, open D, um, and we're going to hammer on to the first and second frets of the D string. Okay. So we get the, the run of, of three notes on the D string, cross over to the G, back to your second fret on the D, and back to the G string again. Okay. And then we're going to start very gradually bending the G string uh, over about five picks actually. And by the end of it you want to be hitting a, the tone of a B, so the tone of fourth fret. Um, does that hold it for you real slow? Okay, so it's a really gradual thing there. Have an experiment with you know how quickly you kind of get through those bends, but it should be really, really gradual um, before you end up on the B right at the end. Uh, then we finish with this uh, little cheeky lick. Okay, so it's open G across the second fret on the uh, D string, back to the G, and then a slide up to fifth fret on the uh, D string, which is a G note. So. Okay, so those two licks together. Okay, then we're going to get another pick on open G as we slide up the D string to the 12th fret. Okay, so open G, slide up to 12th fret, hammer on to 14, and then we're going to cross to the 12th fret on the G, okay? Go back and forth. And then this lovely bend here. Okay, so that whole little lick from the, the 12th fret on the D. So we've got a tone bend on 15. And then a little mini bend on 14. Um, so you don't actually want to let that 15th fret bend down. kill it at the top and then you're going to bend from a, a fret below on 14. Okay, um, so we've done our, our, our two bends there, really really tasty that. And then we get this lick. Okay, we're going to slide off down that and get this little lick on it again on the middle two strings. So again from ninth fret on the D across the ninth fret on the G and down to seven on the G. Okay, we're gonna pick that again and again slide back to where we were. Okay. It's a fairly simple lick here. And the next lick is, I guess, is the, the, the main kind of um, feature of the solo, it's the one you know, everyone kind of knows in this solo. Well, the whole solo is pretty iconic, but this is the lick that everyone kind of uh, knows. So we've got a big stretch coming up to the seventeenth fret with your little finger on the G. Um, sorry, before that we've got to pull off actually, missing a, missing a little bit out. Okay, so to start this lick off, we've got the pull off on the G string, and then we're going to stretch, and then we move down a fret with our little finger. Okay, so let me play that from the for this kind of transition down here. Okay, then we essentially repeat that whole um, section again. Okay, 
again, consult the tab for this bit because I've not got uh, uh, the kind of rhythm uh, going through. It's difficult for me to, to know how many repeats that is. So when you're in the, the heat of the and the flow of the solo, it's a lot easier as you're going. Um, so let me play that whole section uh, and you can kind of count through how many arpeggios we're doing there. So a little variation on the very last one there. We're going to pull off the 17th fret to the 12. And then that lick there. Okay. And then we move on to one of my favourite licks in the, uh, the solo, actually. I love this lick. So we're going to hammer on on the A string, 12 to 14. Skip over to the G. And then fill in on the string you missed out. Okay, so we've got this. And then we get this little sequence rising up the major pentatonic here. Okay, so that whole lick real slow. All right. Uh, then we come on to a hammer on very quickly from uh, E to G. Okay. And we're going to stick on that note. Okay, so in the heat of the solo, you can really dig in uh, to those, get a few pinches and plenty of vibrato all through that, uh, that section there. Uh, and then we get this lick. So E to D, back to E. Two unison bends, and then we're going to separate them out. Okay, and then we get two slides. All right, so that whole section And then we're going to fall down um, this kind of really bluesy shape, it's really cool. Okay. Really, really nice that. Over to the D string, pull off, and then a ghost note slide from 14 to 12, and finish on your G. Okay. Okay, if this is moving a little fast for you, do check out the tab um, and look at it lick by lick. There's a long solo, so there's a lot to get through here. Um, right, next lick. Um, okay, we finished our previous lick on the G. We're going to go up to A, across to E, and then a hammer on. Double pick that A. Okay, so we go across to ninth fret on the D string. Skip over to the 12th fret on the E, and then fill in the string we miss on the G 10th fret of the A string. Okay, that lick again. And then there's a little turnaround. So hammer on from 10 to 12 on the A, across to E, and back to G. Okay. Gonna slide from 12 to 14 on the A and rise up the D string. Then we get this little cheeky double stop. So bar with your first finger, the 12th fret on the middle two strings, and then just hammer on only on the D string, 14th fret. Okay. And with your second finger, we're gonna go to the A string 14. Okay. And sorry, then double pick the D there. get that pair of notes there, so E to G to E to G. A little mini bend here, back to um, 14th fret on the D, rise up the G string, and a nice little bend, tone bend, and the pull off there from D to B, so double pick the, the D note, and pull off to the B, so that whole lick uh, here we go. Okay, 
Then we come into the final lick, okay? So we get another pull off from uh, D to B. We're gonna slide from 14th fret on the G up to 16. And then this series of hammer-ons here, 15 to 17. Okay, on the B string, over to 15 on the E. And then we're gonna get this series of bends. Okay. Okay, and then we're gonna pull off from 17 on the B to 15 on the B. And double pick that note. So pull off and then pick the same note again. Slide down to B. Kind of blue sound going on there with the uh, 15th fret on the G. And then that little lick to finish yourself off there. We've got uh, 14th fret on the G. And then finish on your G note. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is just play through the whole thing real slow. Um, and hopefully that will kind of make it clear how all the, the licks join together, accompanied with a tab obviously. Uh, and yeah, good luck with it. It's a great solo. So here we go from the beginning. <laughs> Okay, it's pretty much no for no uh, the whole solo there. Uh, I might have made a couple of uh, little adjustments, but um, yeah, best of luck with that one. It's a really, really cool solo. Uh, if you enjoyed the lesson, please do subscribe to the channel. There's lots more uh, lessons that I've done in the past and lots more planned and coming up. We've got some gear demos coming up as well for a few guitars and uh, all sorts of things, basically. So if you're into your guitar-related stuff, then please do hit subscribe and check out the website as well. Lots of um, cool stuff on there, all the tabs backing tracks, all kind of things. So uh, yeah, if you enjoyed the lesson, please do hit subscribe, it really helps me out. And uh, get in touch, love to hear from you. Nice one guys, cheers, and I'll see you soon.